Mm. All right. In my last um, in my last video tutorial, I have this API get all method which return I innumerable of customers. But uh, in now we are going to expose new more new API get customer by ID and then it will take take ID as a parameter. And then the implementation of this one is very simple. Basically, I'm saying hey. Find the find the customer by the ID. If found, you know, return the customer. Otherwise, for the exception, customer not found. That's very simple and very straightforward. Nothing else is there. Let's go and make sure it builds okay. Good. Once it builds, all right. Let's go into. Let's run it. Okay. Cool. Now. Um, let's go into Firefox. Alright, cool. Now he's a customer. I pass one here. Cool. So it's working. When I pass one, it's pass two. It's pass three. We have three customer. I think one more customer. Four. Cool. Let's say let's pass a customer that doesn't exist. Okay, customer is Neil. All right, cool. That's what happens. And then, um, okay, that's very simple. It's working now. We know it's working fine because we're able to see our customers. Let's write one more um, my API here. This time we try to search the customer by a name. Customer, get customer by Okay. First name index um, with function. Okay, start with that or Oops. or or Okay. Whether a first name starts with upper or lower case, then do that. Right? Otherwise, Tell me our inner row of customers. Refactor it. Say customer list. Alright, cool. Let's 
So, um, alright, cool, let's see. Let's find out whether it works or not. Reveal all succeeded. And then I'm gonna say, cool. Instead of that, I'm gonna pass. Value. The parameter dictionary can be null entry for a parameter ID. Aha! Uh -huh. So, customer is my. Not found. The resource you are looking for is not really found. Alright, cool. Local host. Okay, you know what we can do? Customer, boom, boom. Okay, I know why. Mm -hmm. Two. Two lower. Alright, now, let's check it out. Alright, cool. J. O. Yeah, this is how it, it can be invoked. Uh, just to verify this and bro, let's say Paro. Yeah, right here, Mondo Poro. Okay, it works. So, so we, we, you can um, basically. So, what we did in this example is basically we exposed. Um, we exposed two API, get customer by ID and get customer by name also, and then so basically our implementation says find all the records in the system. We'll find all the customer whose first name starts with that and the first name that usually interact with take for both first name and last name. Alright. That's all we did. Alright. And then basically this is the simple implementation of Wave API. And all you have to know its implementation is very simple. This is the your class. All you have to do your class has to be inheriting from API controller abstract base class. You can see what this guy is. Basically, as I say, this is just an abstract class which implements two interfaces: ISTTP controller and IS2 disposable base. Which <coughs> so, and then this is very important for us how it really works. 